yourself you're going to die. Stephen Haynes is stepping out on Mary. But Sylvia, who told you? A manicurist? What? What girl? This Crystal Allen. Crystal Allen? Yes, you know, the girl who's hooked Mr. Haynes. Hey, what happened to the hot date you had on for tonight, darling? It's hotter than ever, dear. I'm having him dine at my place. About time he found out I was a home girl. Home girl? <laughs> Get her. Why don't you borrow the quintuplets for these? Because I'm all the baby he wants, pet. Now's your chance to go in there and put an end to this thing, Mary. Go in there and just say a few quiet words. Tell her you'll make Stephen's life an absolute tornado till he gives her up. Look where she was six months ago, and look where she is now. Sylvia, will you please let me do what I want to with my own life? You're very confident, aren't you? Yes, because I know Stephen couldn't love a girl like you. Well, if he couldn't, he's an awfully good actor. <laughs> Cheer up, Sherry. Wait, you've lost as many husbands as I have. Married, divorced, married, divorced. Oh. L'amour, l'amour. That's French for love. You should have licked that girl where she licked you. In his arms. It's where you win in the first round, and if I know men, it's still Custer's last stand. <laughs> Two years to grow claws, Mother. Jungle Red! Hey, who are you to laugh, my pet? I've made good with my husband. Is that the way to talk to me after all I've done for you? Oh, done what? You didn't know a soul when you married Stephen. After all, it wasn't easy to put you over. Stephen's fed up with the crystal in your heart. You know it. Yes, take my advice. Because you put your mind on your alimony. Alimony? With what Stephen can get on you, he won't have to give you a dime. Oh. 